This wedding was an assignment for my Religion two class in Catholic school. This one's wife. Don't interrupt me. This one's wife is never to be interrupted. Remember, whatever she is saying is more important than anything you've ever heard before. Whatever she's doing is of greater significance than anything else that you've witnessed. She is the most important person on the planet. This is what her narcissism dictates. As a consequence of this, this means that when she is saying something or doing something, everybody should be channeling their attention onto her because that provides her with fuel. In fact, her magical thinking tells her, subconsciously, that those around her should not only be listening with rapt attention, but they should be anticipating what she needs, that they should be expecting what she's going to say and what she's going to do, because after all, she is the most important person in that room, on that stage, holding that microphone. Her need for control is near constant. It doesn't apply when she's on her own and not thinking about anybody else, and it doesn't apply when, for instance, she's asleep. But whenever there is an interaction with another person or a contemplated interaction, that need for control arises, and it's a moment-by-moment-by-moment-by-moment-by-moment basis. This means that when she's having a conversation with somebody and people are listening, there isn't a problem because the narcissism is scanning and sees that people are listening to her. They're under her control. But the moment that someone interjects, the moment that somebody interrupts, even if there's a legitimate reason for it, there is a problem. We've seen her reaction before at the Grenfell cookbook event, where she turned round and gave her mother, Doria, the death stare. We've seen earlier in the Columbia faux royal tour where Harry interjected and her head whipped round. We've seen various instances of jaw clenching and death stares as a consequence of someone getting in her way or interrupting her. And we've got another example of this behaviour occurring, again on the Columbia tour, where that facade slips just for a moment. Remember, when she's seeking control, Her facade management is often fighting against that to prevent her from engaging in certain behaviours which, whilst they might gain control over one person, would cause her to lose control over others. In effect, all the plates must be kept spinning. So take, for example, husband, who is a narcissist, wife, who is not at a dinner party with eight other guests. The wife interrupts the husband when he's making a remark to the rest of the table. That threatens his need for control and ignites his fury. If he were to turn around and slap his wife in front of everybody and shout at her, that would result in a reaction from the rest of the guests who'd be horrified by this behaviour. Thus, in the circumstances, whilst he might have gained control over his wife with such a violent reaction, he would have lost control over the other guests. And, on the basis that he's a mid-range narcissist, his narcissism would not allow that to occur because it would damage the facade. Instead, in such circumstances, the facade management would remain in place to ensure that he keeps control over the other guests whilst causing him to do something to get his wife under control, which doesn't damage the facade. Thus, the needs of asserting control over the other guests through facade management are maintained and control over his wife is achieved. A simple way of doing this would be for him to lean in and whisper something unpleasant in her ear so she looks crestfallen and backs down. She's brought under control, nobody else hears, therefore he maintains control. And that is a classic way that a narcissist will behave in public in order to maintain control in a malign fashion over somebody who is not according with that need for control. With this one's wife, she's not always able to do that. But what we see is the heated ignited fury momentarily coming to the surface with a glare, 
with the jaw clenching, with a reaction, before the facade management catches up and stops her from going too far, for instance, knocking someone out of the way or shouting at them. Here, there's an instance of a momentary slip where, once again, the adage of don't interrupt the narcissist is loud and clear. Here's the footage. Thus, as you will have seen in the footage, which is deliberately slowed down to accentuate the point, the vice president interrupts this one's wife while she's in the process of doling some things out to children. You see the immediate response of this one's wife, whereby her facial expression stiffens. There is the glare. It's momentary, but it's there. That is the reaction to the threat to control. Her heated ignited fury comes to the surface and then the facade management catches up and prevents her from demonstrating that heated ignited fury in a more expansive manner. It stops her from hitting somebody or shouting at them. You'll also notice that not only does her facial expression change, but she stops doling out the gifts that she was holding in the bags. Thus, that shows the spiteful nature of the narcissist, whereby, well, if I'm being interrupted, you're not getting a gift. It shows the lack of emotional empathy, the self-absorbed nature of this one's wife. The vice president isn't even looking at this one's wife. She's engaging with the children, but that doesn't matter. The fact is that she has interrupted whatever it was that this one's wife is doing. That is heresy. It's a threat to control, and immediately the heated ignited fury booms. But the facade management quickly catches up and stops it before it gets out of control. And thus, we see the briefest of glares, but it's there. Another one to add to the collection. Another instance of this one's wife demonstrating the narcissistic dynamic, whereby facade management slips but for a moment, allowing the heated ignited fury to be shown and demonstrating the fact that you never interrupt the narcissist, not unless you want to avoid some form of repercussion. And as we have seen here, this one's wife once again exhibits her narcissism in action. She simply cannot help herself. And this is another instance to add to the long list of other mask slips that have occurred. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.